Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's Woodford's Bureau Gold. Very nice. About the top end citrusy that I go for, but not here to talk about that. The test test glass is out again. So it's time for a double review. The last of the beers sent to me by Jimbo's Homebrew. This one is the Bateman's Triple XB. I've never had, don't think, a Bateman's Triple XB. Apart from the one I brewed sometime last year. Beginning of lockdown, I think it was, last year. 4.8% uh, classic pale ale with a Moorish flavour can I remember what my XB was like triple XB yeah. so it's a commercial beer bit of can smoke but not much bit of a hiss Smells very similar to a pedigree, a Moisman's pedigree. So, labels out for those of you who like labels out. Give it a pour. It can be quite aggressive because, for starters, it's only just come out of the fridge. He's off to the end there. What time are we at? It probably came out of the fridge 10 minutes ago, maybe 15. So, it's a nice, I didn't say amber, it's an amber colour, I would say. I thought it said pale. A classic pale ale. I wouldn't say that's pale. That's amber. Let's give the old torchy flash. There you can see, there's plenty of carbonation. <coughs> that's an amber ale. There, so I'll lose it. Alright, so it's uh, it had a fingerhead, but maybe not quite three quarter fingerhead, but it's dropped to about half finger. Take my glasses off so I can see it, smell what it tastes like. Yeah, it still smells sort of like a bit like a pedigree. I've got the brewing book, so I'll have a look. I'm fairly sure I brewed one. Yeah, sort of Marchish, like in May last year. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Right. No, it's not like a pedigree. Flavour wise, there's toffee, crystal malt type toffee in there. Airplane mode, should have done that already. Um, Yeah, quite a sweet flavour. Not really getting anything in the way of bittering.
Didn't say how much strength it was, 4.8% ABV. There's um, a subtle earthiness to it. Hint of biscuit note, I'd say. It's a bit cold. I would say it's not been long out of the fridge. It should have been. I should have left it to warm up a bit, but I forgot to take it out of the fridge earlier. Nicely carbonated. A bit overly carbonated. It's not too bad. Not not as bad as some bottled beers. Very nice. It is very Moorish. <coughs> yeah, these toffee notes. Bit of earthiness, perhaps a hint of spiciness, like a pepperiness. Only a hint. Let's have a see what the bottle says. Didn't plan ahead there, did I? No chance of me reading the back of the bottle. Although it is for quite a thinking uh, text rather than some of the fine texts I've seen. Right. Craft Brewery since 1874. Batemans. XXXB. Triple XB, in case you didn't know what XXXB was, it says Triple XB underneath it. Classic pale ale. Our story is one of enterprise and innovation, always looking forward whilst remaining true to our family roots. After four generations, Batemans is still fiercely independent. Honesty, creativity, and gritty determination fuel our passion for our beers. With three malts and three hop varieties, triple XB, three, three malts and three hops, there you go, I'd say pale hop, pale hop, pale malt, crystal malt, maybe biscuit malt, or chocolate malt, three hops, Nothing stupid. I'd say East Kent Goldings, Fuggles, and something else. Whitbread variant Goldings. That's that's me three hops. Triple probably won't tell me anything now. Triple XB is bursting with aroma and flavour. I wouldn't say it's bursting with aroma. There's a a nice multi sweet toffiness to it. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of flavour to it. It's a nice flavour. A sweet toffee flavour. Right, well, I've lost where I am now. Three malts and three options. Triple XB is, yeah, bursting with aroma, I've done that. The delicate aroma of biscuit. Oof, fucking nailed that one. Um, and fruit. Fucking hell, fruit. Mmm. Not really getting fruit. Toffee and a bit of biscuit. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, and fruit unleashes a distinctive peppery 
I wouldn't say it was distinctly peppery, there's a slight pepperiness. Fruit flavour, which is followed by earthy hops, earthiness, yeah, and the dry maltiness. I don't get a dry maltiness, I, I get more, it's more sweet. Perfect thirst quencher and thoroughly delicious too. Yep. Bang on with that last bit. Um, allergens, barley and wheat. Guidelines, bollocks and yeah, don't drink it while you're pregnant unless you want stupid kids. 18 plus unless you are illegally drinking. Best before date, see end of neck of bottle. Do that in a sec. Usual recycling crap and other stuff. So it doesn't actually tell you what's in there. It's got three, three malts and three hops. I would say, and I think I'm fairly much, I don't know, I don't know because we don't know which three malts are, but I would say it's going to be a pale malt from the biscuit in the description, I already said biscuit malt, and the third I'd pick would be a crystal malt, or perhaps carapils, something like that. Something that gives you a toffee flavour. Yeah, for me that is um, crystal malt. The hops. As I say, I'm going to say Goldings to choose three. East Kent Goldings, Fuggles, and something very similar like the one I quoted before, which I can't remember. Um, Whitbread variant Goldings. Uh, yeah. Let's see. How I brewed it. I'll go for a palate cleanse. Yeah. Quite orangey that. Cheers Steve. Steve Molson. I think he sent those. Viral Island 2, which I think was almost the last, if not the last, oatmeal, piecemeal of the um, sack of malt I got. I bought a sack of malt, panic bought it the week before we went into lockdown down because I suddenly realised hell, I might have some time on my hands. I thought I might have a week or two. Oh, Bertman's, Bertman's Triple XB. There we go. 13th of the 3rd. So was that... That must have been after... No, that must have been just before a lockdown, was it? Um. So. Oh. Is that can? Three malts might count just. Uh, right. So, 13th to the 3rd. I still can't work out whether that was lockdown. It does say YouTube, so I must have filmed it. I'll look and put in the end cards. 
probably the description, I don't know, might, might, well, whatever, in the end cards, the either the taste test for it or the brew day or both, probably both, why not, I'm not. Yeah, that's very nice. And it's still, that's warmed up. We're down to there, we're down, what are we? Mm, probably 15 minutes in, stupidly. Right, let's crack on. So, I had three and a half kilos of pale malt. This is a recipe that I had for it. 380 grams of crystal malt and 100 grams of wheat. Does that count as a malt? I don't know. It's an adjunct, isn't it? So, at the start of boil, 34 grams of Challenger, which is a, a replacement for gold, can be for Goldings. And that's just a bittering hop because it was um, a shooting two hour boil. First time boiling water, where is the boil? Right, boil two hours. So it was a two hour boil. So the challenger is purely bittering hops. And then 33 grams, oh no, 33 grams of goldings at the start of the boil. <coughs> I'm suspecting. Maybe it should have been one or the other. I my own I had to substitute, I don't know. Might be wrong, that might have been the recipe that I got. So we have Challenger and Goldings at the start of the boil. And in the last fifteen minutes we had fifteen grams of goldings. So I only had two hops in it. I had two hops in it. Wheat malt. I suppose you can malt wheat. Perhaps that is the three malts. Pale malt, crystal malt and wheat malt. Don't know. But there you go. So I was reasonably okay with the goldings, providing my recipe is correct, of course. Don't know quite where I got it from, but anyway. So, my first reel, Batman's Triple XB. <coughs> Very nice. I think I've said that. I'd drink that again. I'd probably brew it again. Because I seem to remember it. I had no problem drinking the barrel. Right, so uh, stop wittering, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to get the notifications. And cheers! I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't